Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about one of the best features released in September 2022 is cross tenant data sharing in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So what is cross tenant data sharing? This is actually if you want to share your data to the external users like your customers or your vendors or your subsidiaries, people and they want to consume your data. So you don't need to transfer the data itself. If you have a Power BI data set, then you can just share the data set and they can consume that report, consume that data set and build the report on top of that. So that's the beauty of this one. So before going into that, uh, so let's have a look into the requirement and the benefits of it. So first of all, you need to enable the settings in Power BI tenant. There are a couple of settings because if the user share this report to any other users unexpectedly, then that's causing a problem. So that's why they have given an option in tenant setting. So the admin of Power BI can enable or disable that feature if they don't need that. And the next thing is external user need to have registered to Azure Active Directory as a guest account in the provider tenant for them to be able to access the shared data set. So if you want to share your report to any other external users, first of all, you need to add their email ID as a guest user in your own tenant in Azure Active Directory. So this we have discussed about sharing a report with B2B business to business in my previous videos as well. So once you have done so, and then you need to enable that external sharing on a data set level so that you can share that data set to that particular person. So what are the benefits which will come? So if you share the report to end users, the consumers can discover and connect to live data from providers and they can then work with these shared data sets in their own tenant and create composite models by meshing the shared data set within their internal data. They can also analyze in Excel using this data within their own tenant itself. So that's the advantage of it. Now let's have a look at the how you need to enable the settings. So here are the two couple of tenant settings which you need to enable. Allow guest users to work with shared data set in their own tenants and here allow specific users to turn on external data sharing. So once you do so, in the data set level, you have option of external sharing. You need to enable this, allow external users to discover, connect to and work with this data set within their own Power BI tenant. Once you share this, so the external users will see this in the Power BI service as a separate tab, external data. From here, they can able to access your data. So this is what it about cross tenant data sharing. If you like this video, just click on the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed it, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure to turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it on the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.